As Ohio voters head to the polls today, there's a major initiative on the ballot called Issue One. A yes vote makes reproductive health decisions, including abortion, a guaranteed right under the state constitution. ABC's Alex Perche tells us more about the vote that many across the country are watching closely. For weeks leading up to Ohio's November election, groups canvassed key neighborhoods in an attempt to motivate voters and encourage their friends to get out to the polls. So you said you've already voted. Yeah, I already voted yesterday. On the ballot, the country's latest referendum on abortion rights. A yes on issue one would declare Ohioans have a constitutional right to abortion and allow people to make their own reproductive health care decisions on abortion and contraception. It would also prohibit the state from punishing health care officials that provide care. A no would be a huge win for anti-abortion advocates who already are supporting a law which was blocked by a state judge from taking effect and is making its way through the state Supreme Court. If reinstated, it would ban abortion at six weeks before most women even know that they're pregnant. The law limbo already affecting some. I'm married. I should be able to make those decisions with myself and my husband and my medical provider and the state has no business in it. Lalitha Pamidigantam grew up in the Columbus area, but moved to Seattle for grad school, she says partly because of the Ohio Republican supermajority's play to ban abortion. Our chance to stop the government's extreme abortion ban is on the ballot in November. Whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, issue one is just not right for Ohio. Ads have inundated airwaves, but the message on that last one is a closing argument for anti-abortion supporters. I think in the last 25, 30 days, we've really focused our messaging, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, the end of the day, this is a bridge too far, and that is our closing message. Mike Gonadakis is the president of Ohio Right to Life. He knows winning in November is an uphill battle. Supporters of issue one have outraised his side by roughly three times. Those supporters also turned out in droves in an August special election that many saw as a proxy vote on abortion, which is why yes groups are going door to door now to get out the vote and trying to motivate younger voters too. Young voters are so smart, um, they are so energized, we just need them to go to the polls. And we have Dr. Jen here to talk to us about this issue because it is a healthcare issue for some people. Yeah. Let's talk about women because the rules are different in every state now. What do they need to know? Well, not only are the rules different, but they also are dynamically changing and evolving. So the first thing is, ideally, a woman has a relationship or at least a point of contact or access with a health care provider, a professional who can say, this is the latest. Let me inform you and educate you and counsel you as to what your options here here in this state are. And this vote just didn't just impact young women, but also doctors. I mean, big time. It's impacting doctors today because a lot of them are facing criminal charges, jail time, imprisonment, losing their license, you name it. They are afraid to do what we have taken the oath to do. Um, and I think also to your point, DeMarco, about what's going on medically, it's really important for people to understand that a lot of the political terms that you hear in the debate on abortion are not real medical terms. There is no such medical procedure as a partial birth abortion. There is no such medical procedure as a baby being aborted days before the due date. That is just a false, that's, that's just not medically accurate. And I think a lot of times people forget that. It's easy to get caught up in the political arena and lose sight of what the medicine and science actually shows. Hot topic on both sides. Absolutely. All right, thank you. you bet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.